Thanksgiving a week from today. Christmas will be here before we know it. It's time to get some holiday shopping done. The Chi Omega Christmas Market is back. Joining me this morning is Sarah Coda, and I heard you've got a lot of good goodies this year. Hi, yes we do. We're really excited about this year's market. We have uh, 250 merchants plus this year, and we're so excited to share this with everybody in the Dallas area. Okay, so it's today through Saturday. Show me what shoppers are gonna find. All right, we have a little bit of a sample here for you. Um, we have everything from clothing, accessories, um, all the way to food items. Um, this is one of our favorites, Mother Shuckers. They also do tamales that are really easy uh, to take on the go, and um, they're wonderful gifts. We have collegiate items all the way from boots, um, and towards the end of the table, I'll show you guys also, we have some beanbag toss boards that are customized. Um, and then we also have food items, jewelry, and um, one of our favorites with our customers is uh, baby hipsters, and it's just some wonderful cute little outfits to give to some of those people in your family. And then also a paper affair, they offer some wonderful home goods, um, beautiful decorations for the holidays. Lot to see. So this year the market pledged more than $206,000 to 10 local Dallas charities. So it's not just about shopping and getting your everything you know marked off your list. You're also really helping the community too. Yeah, absolutely. So this year we are really fortunate to um, benefit nine local charities. Um, a few of those are Bees Kids, um, the Child Advocacy Center of Collin County, Make-A-Wish, which I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with, um, and a few others, but we get to benefit nine this year. So all of our shopping is going to a good cause. So how many booths are there? I mean, how many shoppers are you really expecting? Um, so we're expecting about Anywhere between 10,000 and 11,000 shoppers um, is oh our typical gosh. traffic. Um, and this year we have uh, just over 260 booths. Wow, okay, so wear comfy shoes. Any other shopping tips? <laughs> wear comfy shoes. Um, be prepared to uh, be here for several hours. Um, the other thing that we make sure we have is food and drink for your uh, friends that come with you. Okay. Make sure you can take a break and take a load off for a little bit and enjoy a beverage or a snack. Yeah, yeah, I have a lot of friends that look forward to going to this every year, and I think one of the big things for a lot of people is that they'll do monogramming on the spot. So you could order something, and, and some of the booths will do monogramming within like an hour or so, so you can just continue shopping and, and get stuff like that done. So you can really get some personalized gifts. Yeah, absolutely. So one of the items that is really popular is we have some monogram wreaths that come from Paper Affair. And then we also have jewelry, like you said, where you can walk up, order what you want, and walk away and come back in a little bit, and your gift will be personalized and ready. All right, gosh, so much to see. It's at a Centennial Hall. We want to let everyone know at Fair Park, it's the Chi Omega Christmas Market and uh, money going to all those Dallas area nonprofits today through right. Saturday. We're gonna have a link, Sarah, with all the information on our website so everyone can find it, myfoxdfw.com. Happy shopping, thanks for joining us. Thank you so much. Have a good one. It is uh, 841 coming up. It's a great recipe for Turkey Day leftovers. We're making turkey cranberry salad in the Good Day Kitchen. And more wild temperatures and the return of rain for some of us in Evan's forecast.
see the clouds thinning out just a little bit. We will have partly sunny skies through at least early afternoon. Then the other clouds, the thick, ugly gray clouds will start coming in, but the ugly clouds produce something we need, which is rain. I just looked at all the new data, not gonna change anything in the forecast. We do have some rain in the forecast tonight and tomorrow. It'll be on and off and we will see temperatures on the mild side. Saturday still looks pretty quiet in the morning. It's going to be the mid afternoon to evening hours. We'll see this widespread rain and thunderstorm activity. Some of them be strong, although now it looks like the most severe weather may end up staying just in our southern counties or even south of us. Either way, we're still going to be mild and then Sunday is windy and warm 74. Next week is cooler, but not cold until maybe the end of next week. And you know what that includes? That includes your Black Friday shopping chip. Oh. Okay, I can't wait for that. It has been an ugly drive on I-35W, no doubt about it. And we still have trouble on the right side of the roadway at Allen. So just plan accordingly. You folks that live south of I-20 expect a 30-minute delay. And now I decided to put in a big marker. <laughs> New wreck on I-30 here, making the transition from Fort Worth into Arlington around the East Chase Parkway interchange. That crash blocking up a lane and the backups going quickly to the East Loop. A quick reminder on the west side of Dallas, northbound on Loop 12, right before the I-30 interchange. Two left lanes still blocked. The backups have main, maintained uh, their current position of starting to get slow right at that Spur 408 merge. And I wanted to quickly bring up a camera that's actually at the Plano Richardson border. This is southbound 75 Central looking south from the George Bush Turnpike. And down around Campbell Road, there's a trouble in the HOV lane that is causing the backups that you see here. Tim? The man behind the camera in uh, some of the greatest movies in Hollywood history is dead at age 83. Director Mike Nichols began working in theaters in the 1950s. It was part of a comedy duo with his then wife. He directed Broadway hits, Barefoot in the Park, The Odd Couple, and one of the best movies of all time, The Graduate. He won an Emmy, a Grammy, an Oscar, and a Tony. Nichols is married to news anchor Diane Sawyer. It was more than a fall off a bike, it turns out, for singer Bono of the uh, group U2. Much worse than we expected. Had two surgeries in New York. He broke his shoulder blade, elbow, pinky finger, and a bone over his left eye. He was injured trying to avoid a collision with another cyclist on Sunday. The band canceled its appearances until Bono is back. Can't have the band without Bono. Reruns of The Cosby Show were pulled from many cable TV channels after another woman accused the comedian of sexual assault. NBC also dropped plans for a comedy starring the 76-year-old. Subscription service Netflix announced uh, that it's postponed and may cancel next week's premiere of a new Cosby stand-up on comedy, uh, comedy special as well. Actress and model Janice Dickinson became the third woman in recent weeks to allege that she was sexually assaulted by the comic. Cosby's lawyer denies the allegations. Going? Going gone for the 29,000 square foot mansion in Prosper in Collin County. This was owned by former Cowboys player Deion Sanders. The Dallas Morning News says it was actually bought by a local man for $4 million. It's on the tax rolls for three times that much, so it got looks like he got quite a deal. Yeah. The home with a bowling alley, basketball court, and 14 car garage is on nine acres of land on Preston Road in Prosper. Quite the house. Gosh, how do you have enough furniture to fill that? <laughs> it would be empty forever. Can't even, just God. one room at a time. I know. It is 848. Well, she's worked with some big name chefs, including Paula Dean and Bobby Flay. Now Blythe Beck is here to uh, share a simple Thanksgiving dish that you are going to love. I'm hungry for those good things, baby.